Let's work through an example of using a parameterization of a surface to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface at a particular point. So in this case m is our surface given by x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 plus z squared equals 1 and if we look at some particular point on there the idea is that because the surface is smooth there'll be some tangent plane and so we want the equation for that tangent plane. Well we already have the point on the surface that, that was given in, in the problem and so the only thing we really need to calculate is a normal vector n. And in the end what we're going to find is we're, we're going to use a parameterization of the surface to, to calculate the normal vector. Now admittedly there are other ways to do this so for instance I mean this surface is given by this function equals a constant so I could use the gradient of the function to come up with this but the idea is we're just we're trying to get a little bit more comfortable with using parameterizations to to accomplish things um, specifically down the road we, we want to do surface integrals so in, instead we're gonna parameterize our surface so r of uv is the parameterization and because it's a surface it's essentially a two-dimensional object um, inside of R3 and, and so we need these two parameters U and V and the parameterization is essentially this is a, a sphere scaled in the X direction by a factor of 3 and in the Y direction by a factor of 2 so we're basically going to use spherical coordinates to, to get the parameterization but then we're going to scale the X coordinate by a factor of 3 so this is going to be sine of V cosine of u and we'll scale the y coordinate by a factor of 2 and get sine of 2 sine v uh, this should be sine of u and then the z factor isn't scaled at all so it's just cosine of v so I chose u and v as sort of just arbitrary parameters but essentially u is is really theta and v is really phi if we we're using spherical coordinates. Okay, so how do we compute this normal vector n? Well, it turns out we just use the two partial derivatives. So this is a function of, of two variables, u and v. So I can take the partial with respect to u. I get minus 3 sine v sine u. I get 2 sine v cosine u and then I get zero because this isn't a function of, of u at all. Then the partial with respect to v, I get three cosine v cosine u, two cosine v sine u, and then I get negative sine v in the third component. Okay, and, and so it turns out if I take r sub u cross r sub v, I'll get a tangent vector to the surface. Now why is that? Well essentially R u and R v are, are tangent vectors to the surface and so because the cross product of two vectors is, is perpendicular to both vectors simultaneously it must be perpendicular to the surface. So n of u v, so the normal vector at the point R of u v is, is given by R sub u cross R sub v. Now, I, I wrote these vectors out sort of purposely one over the other so that then I can sort of think of i, j, and k and use the standard method of, of using a determinant to calculate this, this cross product. So for the first component, I get the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. And so I get minus 2 sine squared v cosine u and then minus 0. So I get minus 2 sine squared v cosine u. All right, then for the second component, I get minus this product, which in the end is, is 3 sine squared v sine u. So I get minus 3 sine squared v sine u, and then again plus 0. Now the last component, I get this product minus this product, and so in the end, I get minus 6 sine v cosine v times sine squared, and then minus 6 sine v cosine v 
times cosine squared. So you can write this out on your own. But essentially, the sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And, and so I get minus 6 sine v cosine v. All right, so using this parameterization, a little bit of computation, we've, we've found a normal vector. And in fact, this gives us a normal vector to any point corresponding to, to u and v. So now what I need is I need to know the appropriate values of u and v to plug in so that I can get the point that we're interested in. Well, if this is our general parameterization, then comparing the third coordinates, I get cosine of v is root 3 over 2. Now u is bounded below by 0 and above by 2 pi, and v is bounded above by pi and below by 0. So cosine of v is root 3 over 2 implies that v equals pi over 6. All right, so we know, we know what v is, and now we're going to use the first two coordinates to figure out what u is. In fact, we just need the third coordinate. So we have sine of v is equal to 1 half. And so the first coordinate is 3 times sine of v times cosine u. So we have 3 halves cosine of u is equal to, well, the given value was 3 halves times 1 over root 2. And that implies that u equals pi over 4. Now, technically, because u is from 0 to 2 pi, um, u could be pi over 4 or uh, 7 pi over 4. But we also see that the the third I'm sorry the second component we have two over two times sine of u is equal to two over two times one over root two. So because sine sine of u is also equal to one over two, that that says so th this really says it could be pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4, but the fact that this sine of u equals 1 over root 2 eliminates this second option, and so we know that u is, is equal to pi over 4. So then our normal vector that we want for our specific case is n of pi over 4 comma pi over 6. And so now we just evaluate. So sine of pi over 6 was 1 half, so I get minus 2 over 4 and then times cosine of u which is 1 over root 2 and here I get minus 3 over 4 times 1 over root 2 and then here I get minus 6 over 4 and then the cosine of v is root 3 over 2 I'm sorry this is 1 half and this is root 3 over 2 so I get minus 6 root 3 over 4. Okay so the tangent plane has equation given by so these are the components of the normal vector so I get minus 2 over 4 root 2 times x minus and then the x coordinate of the point 3 over 2 root 2 and then minus 3 over 4 root 2 times y minus 2 over 2 root 2 and then plus actually minus 6 root 3 over 4 times z minus root 3 over 2. Okay and so this is the equation xyz coordinates for the specific tangent plane to the surface m at the given point. And again, there are easier ways to do this using the, the gradient of this function. Um, none, nonetheless, we wanted to practice coming up with a parameterization and then using that to find a, the normal vector and just so we sort of understand how uh, all this work with parameterization sort of interacts with uh, calculus we've done in the past. So in the end, we computed this 
equation for our tangent plane using this point and the surface and this parameterization r of uv.